this July 28, 2021. This one here, I got a call from a guy. He's got a um, 40 gallon electric low boy water heater under his kitchen kitchen uh, countertop, he said. He's got it hooked up to an oil fired tankless boiler. And uh, I guess the tank started leaking into the kitchen. And he wants me to just go there and bypass the tank for now. I told him I could replace the tank. But he wants to bypass the tank for now and run off the tankless coil off the boiler. But it sounds like it's going to be a real shit show over here. But uh, we'll see. It's going to be a real shit show, Mama. Miss Molly going to be a shit show, Miss Molly. Anyway, we'll try to get you some shots when I get over there. He said I worked for him before, so I don't know. Hopefully I don't get attacked by any roaches or anything. We'll see. Never a dull moment, Miss Molly. Never a dull moment. No, never a dull moment, Miss Molly. Can't have a relief valve like that. That's not legal. No. Look at all this burn mark. What the hell that happened there? Done by uh, Jim. What's all that all burnt? Yeah, this thing's all leaking. Yeah, I know. That's what I thought. Look at the way they got the relief valve. It's, <laughs> it can't have that like that. Yeah, that was Jen. In wow. Way. That was a, that's quite a while ago. This must be like 12 years or something or 14. I don't remember. We're gonna have to do something about this. Uh, that's pretty scary. Yeah. So it, there's no, it all goes in there. Let's take a look. Yeah, just disconnect it and drain it because we're gonna go with the uh, tankless hot water, you know? So then it Wow, they really hacked the shit out of it, huh? Oh, that I don't know what the hell they did. It I guess yeah. I could. I could just cap it over here and rip it out of here. Sure. Whatever you want to do. Anything you want, okay? <coughs> That's gonna be cheaper than replacing the thing. Yeah, yeah but I don't know if the if the tankless is gonna keep up. The what? I can't I can't put it in here the way it is. I you can't pipe it like this. It's not legal. Okay, that's okay because we're gonna replace. You could have to you have to put it in a different area. Yeah, replace. I, it. I can't I can't do work like this. Yeah, replace it anyway. I replace. I don't replace it. Get rid of. I'm it. just gonna cut the pipes and. and uh, I'm just gonna cap that hot water pipe and cap that cold underneath there and rip all this shit the hell out of here and drain it. Sure, you know what you're doing, that's fine. That's what we want. <laughs> now let's go see, uh, well I got the cold water off, so now we should be working through the tankless. Okay. Have you getting hot water before? Uh, I was. Yeah, you're getting hot water. Yeah, you know what was happening, like I told you, right? This is weird. That thing was turning cold, right? Well, oh, you're getting your hot water from your boiler. No, so I don't know why they even have this. Oh, huh? I don't know why they even have this. I got the cold water shut it's off. It's going to be so. going through this because it was turning hot and cold. It can't be because I just got I just shut off the valve, guy. I just shut off the cold water valve feeding that thing. Okay. So hot. now it's 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 coming from the boiler. I wonder why the hell it was going hot and cold though. That I don't. Get. Well, it's getting it's really hot here. See it? Yeah. It has been right. I mean before. A couple of days ago, this was turning hot and cold. Turn Where's the boiler? Down cellar? Yeah. Let's go take a look. You Is there lights any... down there or do I need lights? Uh, I probably need lights. All right. I have the, you know, it's going to Yeah, well, it's, we got a boiler here with a tankless. So you're going to just, that's what we're running off for now is this. Okay, why was it turning hot and cold? I have no idea. We're going to disconnect that tank, get it the hell out of there. Sometimes and I And we'll think worry that, about it at that point, okay? Sometimes I think the house is... I'm thinking it's this 30 amp. We'll check. I'm going to shut that off for now. That that one, that, tw that 220. Okay. This one's for the pump. The other one's a 50. What do you got upstairs for a 220 electrical? The, uh, I think it's this one, the pump. The we'll stove. check it. The stove. Like the yeah, so that's the 50. So that, that should do it right there for the electrical. Yeah. Well, let's hope. Let me get my tools. Okay. <laughs> pump there. I got the water off in the basement. Okay. 
Somewhere right in there, will it? <laughs> yeah, just disconnected. I mean, I can't hook up. I can't hook up anything there. I'm surprised Jim did that job. They're supposed to be big time, big time blow bags around here. That's what they're talking about. I know there's a lot of variants now. I don't know. Jesus. 
<coughs> I'm sick of them flipping masks. I'm about done with that shit. Oh, I know it's a pain, isn't it? Yeah, I'm about done with it. When I was working at Trukies, you know. I'd rather take my chances. At Trukies, I had to go out in the parking lot and bring in pot. And I wear glasses, and the glasses fog right up. Oh, with, with, the, with the mask on? Yeah. So I did, I took the glasses off, and I'm out there in the parking lot with no glasses, they're easier, you know, you couldn't see anything with the glasses. <laughs> oh yeah, if they get all foggy, right? Yeah. So then I go inside, and I leave the glasses off, and I can usually see all right, you know, but if I had to check prices or something, I had a pair of uh, reading glasses, you know. It's not even worth it to wear any glasses or that. I'm just gonna put a couple of female adapters on here with some with some plugs and be done with it. Beautiful. Whatever, whatever's, whatever's easy. Yeah, that's right. Cheap and easy, right? Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Cheap and that. easy. I can't believe that damn thing is going to work. Yeah, I would be kind of kind of concerned about that. I'm uh, not worried about it now. Oh, no, it's, uh, it's off now, but... Yeah, now it's all set. I told you, it's been hit by lightning more than once. It's been a well screwed up right after you bought it. That's your ex-wife doing voodoo dolls on you. Oh, God. You wouldn't believe the stuff in this house. Huh? You don't believe all the things in this house. <laughs> what, you think it's haunted? I don't know. <laughs> She's empty. We shouldn't have to worry about it. Keep leaking. I know, that's good. Next thing you know, the thing will be falling right through the ground. You know, everything's screwed up here. Right? <laughs> that's all you need. <clears throat> yeah, we just bought the house in uh, December of 85, and the well went dry immediately. Wow. <clears throat> So then... They must have known about that when they sold the house. Yep, they did. Did they, uh, did they tell you about it? No? Nope. Typical bullshit, huh? Oh, yeah. You can believe this stuff. What happened is they had a piece of PVC pipe encasing the thing because the well, the well was polluted. So that was all the way down to the bottom. So if you're getting good water, you're only getting like about a quarter on... that's gonna fix it <clears throat> right so what do you do there <clears throat> this is December of 1985 so we got the water and we just bought the house holy shit so he says okay what we can do is we got to go 75 feet or 100 feet I forget what from 
any septic system or anything that you got here, right? In the need us to. So now they sink a well down near the road, right? So it was contaminated from, from the septic. No, I'm from, I'm from not from this one, some other one. He says, I, he says, look, this well water, right? Is any veins, you know? Yeah. So this can originate from New Hampshire, right? It may not have anything to do with any of this. Oh, okay, and it's coming from the, could be coming from anywhere, right? Yep, that's right. Oh, holy shit. So he says, okay, well, uh, we got to do another well. Now it's going to be <clears throat> far enough away, you know, legally from everybody's septic system, including this one. <clears throat> so he comes in and they start doing a well, right? And the guy says later, he says, look, he says, I've been doing wells for years, right? I can look at the whole landscape and I can determine about how far we got to go down. Yeah. He says, I'm guessing about 250 feet, right? That's deep, yeah. And he says, that's why we didn't replace the diamond drill in the well, because I was going to have a shop and that this job, right? Now he's down like 400 feet, right? <laughs> this thing ended up almost 500 feet deep. Wow. To get water. Recovering oh, like around two, uh, two gallons and something a minute. For that cost you. I forgot we had to get another mortgage for it. Holy right shit. After we bought the damn house. What a flipping shit show, huh? Oh, yeah, the whole thing's a disaster. That's what it was going up and over. Guy really hacked the shit out of this thing. All right, I'm going to pull this tank out and then we'll uh, okay, take a look at it. But. Yeah, look at the way he's got the relief valve. It's supposed to be in the top. Okay. Because there's a probe here. And that probe has to be down inside the water. That's not legal like that. Look at this wiring. Yeah, yeah I don't know any of this. I'm this not, is all illegal. I'm not a plumber. Though. You know what Crazy. I mean? They just come in and did it. Unbelievable. <clears throat> that was that gem plumbing. Yeah. They're supposed to be so great. Yeah. Oh well. So you don't know who the hell to call. You know so much I mean? for their name. You own a you know house and everything. How do you know? Hundred. Yeah. That's cheap. What they do out of that is they can't put it in the grouse space, you can't get that one out. So what they do is they put it outside and pipe it in, you know. She's a crusty one. Yeah, so it's got, that's not even gonna happen for a while, hold it. Because it cost me four thousand bucks for the game well. So it's gonna stay there for a while. It's a little rusty. Yeah. As long as we're getting hot water, I mean I got no leaks. I couldn't leave that water heater like that. Put a box and then, so it's out of the way. Oh, that's good then. I mean, if we get next time we get an electrician, you can disconnect it in the panel. Okay. Doesn't matter anyway. There's no power going anyway, so it doesn't matter. I ain't gonna have an electrician if I need one. Yeah, we're well, getting you're getting hot water here, so you're good. good. I mean, you're gonna have to work off the boiler. That's all. Okay. Can't have that thing all fried like that. You know, so that is weird. So you think it got hit by lightning? I don't see anything I can think of. Have you ever seen anything like that before? Have you ever seen one burn up like that? Might have got hit by lightning. I mean, kind of really, it's what really cooked. The reason, then? It's really cooked. Yeah, have you ever seen that happen before? You said that just happened recently? That's been like that for a while, I think. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, it was up Zero fucks given, right? A couple of weeks ago, right? <laughs> Prior to that, I 